Wonderful good day ladies and gentlemen, it's day three of PDAC 2016 here in Toronto and we are at the Fission Uranium booth and with me here is Ross McElroy, the COO and Chief Geologist and as I always say, my Mr. Adabaska Bates and Ross, good morning, great good to morning. have you here. Good morning, Jochen, nice <laughs> to be here with you. Thanks for your time. Well, I think we mustn't uh, talk about fission in general, we did that a lot of time, but uh, as you are the head geologist, as you are leading the team and the team is here behind us, uh, great guys, I met them uh, two days ago at, at, uh, at the dinner and I must say wow outstanding quality of your team it's uh, great to talk to the boys um, I want to touch into your last let's say two three news releases because you had again phenomenal drill results right. and also here in our background we have the map of the whole um, yeah, property so far did you give us a bit of an explanation please I sure can we're uh, about three quarters of the way through our winter program and as you know we're doing about a 12,000 meter program mm -hmm. Um, that'll get us close to 40 holes and really in this winter's uh, program what I really wanted to focus on was a bit more of the exploration potential so the blue sky working out the blue sky mm -hmm. and where we've had a lot of success this winter is building on strike away from the uh, the triple R deposit and we've extended the both to the east and to the west by significant amounts. Mm -hmm. So that means you have extended the length of the strike? Right, so we found more mineralization several yep. hundred meters to the east, we found mm -hmm. more mineralization seven, several hundred meters to the west. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this whole trend is really starting to open up for us again yeah. and, and that's very exciting. Yeah, and as we of course we see, this is not only long but it's also thickening, it's widening, right? And yeah, this, is, this is the beauty of it. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. The, the 780 zone has just been a fantastic uh, deposit near surface, shallow, and that's another thing. All the mineralization along trend from one end to the other is now 2.53 kilometers and it's all shallow mineralization. Yeah. So this is really the earmark of what, what's so unique about this project, yeah. this deposit, your basement rock and your shallow and that yeah. there's nothing else like that. When we talk about shallow, but how shallow is it? I mean, we know the lake is like five, six meters deep in general, right. but how shallow is your deposit? Because it, this it makes a big difference, right? It, it, it's shallow. It's actually at the top of the bedrock, but the bedrock is covered by about anywhere between 50 and 100 meters of, mm -hmm. of overburden, and mm -hmm. that overburden is sand. And you can see the sand here in these pictures. Yeah. But below that, so starting at 50 meters is where the bedrock starts, and that's where the mineralization begins. So right at the top of the hard rock is where our high-grade mineralization mineralization wow. is yeah. so that's fantastic. that's why you are also so economic right this is it yeah. because now uh, as we've shown in the PEA on the 780 in the zero zero mm -hmm. zone that this is an open pit mine or an open yeah. pit deposit now yeah. I don't see anything in any of the mineralization that we've seen that would change that picture you might expand the footprint of, yeah. of what the pit area is and obviously you would do that but it's so exciting to to see yeah. the results that we've been getting this winter yeah, exactly. Let's dive into um, the results from the winter. You released a press release today, obviously, of course, and uh, also we had in the last yeah, two, three weeks phenomenal results again. Can you comment on those results and where they are located here, please? I sure can, and I'll probably just start on the eastern end. Yes. Previously, we, we had the 1620 zone, and it had five holes into it. They were all um, reasonably thick mineralized lenses, but low grade. And this winter we've hit high grade mineralization similar to what we're seeing over in the main 780 zone. So we have a, mm -hmm. a hole out here that's about 50 meters wide. We don't have assays back on it yet, but we know that the mineralization is around 50 meters, mm -hmm. starting again very shallow, um, about 100 meters below the surface, and there's a high grade core to it. So the yeah. 1620 is now developing into a real uh, mineralized zone wow. similar to what we're seeing in the, in the rest of the yeah. deposit. And it means for the future you have connect them, right? Then. Well, yeah, we essentially we don't have a lot of holes in, yeah. in here. We have a few regional ones that we're, you know, working out the trend, but now we have some areas to go through and see if we can expand it, and we've done so. We've put it, you know, several holes into the 1620 already this year, mm -hmm. mineralized, all very good. So. Okay, phenomenal. So what, what happened down there then if we swap from the right side of the deposit then to the left side? I mean, what happened there? Well, and this is another thing, our first hole of this winter was out here uh, uh, around a 140 meter step out from the edge of the 600 zone on land and it hit high grade mineralization as well. Again, no assays mm -hmm. have yet been returned but we know from the radioactivity and the scintillometers that this is another impressive area. And we and that, that's what allowed us to expand our winter program. We did four additional holes testing around what we now call the 840 zone. And even just this morning, we stepped out yet again on nine, line 915, so mm -hmm. another further uh, 65 meters out to the west, 
more mineralization, high grade mineralization, shallow. So wow. this whole western area is really starting to open up. Areas yeah. that we knew nothing about, uh, say last year, have now been confirmed with drills yeah. to have high grade mineralization all along this, this continuous yeah. trend. And I, the, the other point I would emphasize is that this is 2.53 kilometers strike length, bookend by high grade mineralization, still open on either end. So it's, wow. it's a fantastic. So that that's, uh, would be for uh, the future a beautiful large mine. Hopefully. <laughs> but also, I think what, what we should point out, the resource so far is only here, right? That's right. Yeah, the resource yeah. and the resource estimate and the PEA is all built around the, the R00E zone and the R780E yeah. zone. The other ones uh, were really not known to contain high-grade mineralization at the time that that resource was done. So part of our focus will be to expand this area put more drill holes into it, be able to bring it into a resource yeah. category, and do the same likewise at the 1620 East Zone. So Fantastic. So that means you will add a lot to the resource in the future, and I'm sure, but when do you think you come with the next resource estimate? Approximately. Approximately. I know you're not allowed to, to say def, uh, exact dates, but... Well, uh, I would like to uh, think if we get a, a pretty good aggressive summer program, we could probably get some good evaluation out here in the western end, perhaps bring that in. We, we do have a number of holes in the 600 West, and now with the 840, maybe we'll be able to get enough holes into this area that we could uh, consider doing a resource update that would include up to the east and also yeah. to the west. So I've made, I, I would think perhaps in, in this towards the third quarter, the end of this year, we could have a, a new resource update. Fantastic. So we, you make sure that we get a nice Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, this, this project just keeps delivering Absolutely. the goods. It's, it's, yeah. it's phenomenal. No, that's perfect. You are well financed. You have the money in the bank from the Chinese, so you really can drill it out. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Super. Russ, very thank you very much. I really look forward to your next results. As I said to, uh, this morning, you had great results again. And I'm pretty sure when you fill all that stuff in, we, I, I want to see one yellow line going through here. That's what I want to see. <laughs> you know, not only are we going to get one yellow line, Jochen, but we're also expanding the yellow line. Exactly. So yeah. We're very and, pleased. And make it, make it thick. <laughs> <laughs> make it thick. Russ, thank you very much for yeah. that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Russ McElroy, the COO and Chief Geologist from Fish and Uranium. And yeah, you heard it. Uh, two, yeah the right side call it here to the left side here they are adding and adding onto the mineralization and it will add to the resource so uh, we are pretty confident uh, that the next resource estimate which is scheduled probably for yeah, Q3 latestly Q4 this year uh, will be again very positive and what is also very important here to point out the last resource estimate had already over 82 million pounds indicated and that's the categories you want to see so Bye-bye from Toronto. Thank you very much. That's it, folks.